Hi, today's video is going to be about simple Mendelian genetics and today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you so I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. What is the genetic cross between an individual showing a dominant phenotype but unknown genotype and homozygous recessive individuals called? And here is the five answers that you may choose from. And uh, answer A, a self-cross. Answer B, a test cross. Answer C, a hybrid cross. D, an F1 cross. And uh, answer E, the hybrid cross. And uh, let me start with answer E. Uh, when we have the hybrid cross, uh, that means that we have uh, two um, alleles. For example, one can be capital A and small a, and another one capital B and small b. And we cross with uh, another parent that also has two alleles. So this is going to be the hybrid cross. And uh, what is a F1 cross, uh, for example, consider that we have uh, one parent that is heterozygous, another one, for example, homozygous dominant, or it uh, can be uh, the same genotype. So here we would have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, and capital A, capital A here, and capital A, small a here. So all these genotypes here uh, would be considered to be F1 generation. So when we uh, saying that uh, F1 cross, uh, that means that we uh, self-cross all these uh, genotypes. So, um, and this is of course would be parental generation, so parent 1 and parent 2 and uh, also we may call that this would be female for example and this side would be male so if we talk about plants so this would be pollen so uh, answer C uh, hybrid cross uh, hybrid cross is when we have uh, one dominant allele one recessive and we cross with uh, another parent that whole that also is uh, heterozygous so uh, this is very simple uh, and the difference between the dehybrid cross that here we have two alleles but uh, in this example we have only one allelic pair so uh, we uh, can cross out the three answers and uh, we left only two answers, a self-cross and a test cross. And self-cross meaning that we uh, self-cross um, the plant, uh, we taken pollen from this plant and self-pollinate it. So uh, such plant should be uh, uh, monoecious or, or should have uh, both uh, male and female uh, reproductive structures so we can uh, self-pollinate such plant so uh, this is not correct answer and the only answer left is answer B and let me demonstrate how we can find uh, if uh, for example genotype that is under the question uh, is heterozygous or homozygous dominant and how we use homozygous recessive um, genotype in order to find out the answer. So consider that we have uh, one genotype that is capital A, capital A and another genotype that is um, capital A and small a. So this is two genotypes and both of them would produce, for example, uh, red flowers. But one would be dominant, uh, homozygous dominant, another one would be recessive. And also, uh, we have uh, homozygous recessive and uh, genotype 
and this would produce white flowers. So how can we find uh, if uh, the plant, for example, this one is dominant or this one heterozygous, if both of them uh, look the same? So they look uh, for our eye as red flowered plant. So let's consider two uh, crosses. So here we may have homozygous dominant parent and here on the side homozygous uh, recessive parent. And as you see, as a result of such cross, all the genotype here would be heterozygous and the uh, color of the flower of course would be uh, red just as you see here both this genotype produce uh, uh, red flowered plants so those uh, genotypes are different but phenotypically they would look the same and now consider different situation when we have uh, genotype that is capital A small a or heterozygous uh, this one and so this uh, was the first cross and uh, once again we use homozygous recessive genotype uh, to find out uh, whether we have uh, parent one uh, heterozygous or homozygous so uh, now we would have uh, capital A small a here, small a small a here, capital A small a here, and small a small a here. And as you see, uh, half of the progeny would be red flowered, and half of the progeny of such cross would be white flowered. So that's why we use this. Um, homozygous recessive genotype uh, in order to find when we cross with uh, red flowered uh, phenotype in order to find what is a genotype. If it is uh, homozygous dominant all the 100% of the progeny would be uh, red flowered plants. If uh, the genotype is heterozygous but still uh, it looks like a red flowered plant uh, after such uh, cross that we call test cross we are going to get 50% uh, red flowered plants and 50% white flowered plants so as you see the correct answer would be B uh, such a cross we call test cross now we can move to the second uh, question how many unique gametes could be produced through the independent assortment by an individual with the genotype that is um, capital A small a, capital B small b, and uh, homozygous dominant for C, heterozygous for D, and homozygous dominant for uh, allele E. So uh, it is very easy, even if uh, this uh, example would be much longer, it's very easy to find. Of course you can uh, use just common sense and logic and you can try different uh, combinations and find out how many different variants exist but I want to show you very easy method and this is what we should do. First of all we only count uh, heterozygous uh, genotype, uh, heterozygous alleles. So this is would be heterozygous alleles and this also would be heterozygous alleles and uh, D also would be heterozygous alleles and uh, now we can uh, easily count a uh, number of different variants because we uh, have here as our example diploid organism so each allele uh, present in two copies it can be heterozygous or homozygous dominant or recessive uh, so uh, for our formula we use two that is number of the different alleles possible and um, for one locus and now we count uh, how many different uh, 
heterozygous uh, alleles present. So uh, here we have 1, 2, and 3. So we raise uh, 2 by 3. And we are going to get, uh, this is the same thing as we uh, multiply 2 by itself 3 times. So the answer would be 8. So 8 different uh, uh, variants of the uh, gametes can be produced by this genotype and uh, formula is uh, 2 raised n and n here stands for the um, number of the uh, heterozygous uh, loci so uh, this is our formula you just have to remember that we have to ignore all the loci uh, present in the homozygous form where the dominant or recessive and we have to count only uh, loci that is present in the heterozygous form. So in our example this is uh, 1, 2 and 3. So we have only 3 loci here uh, that is in heterozygous form and we uh, just can cross out this uh, uh, loci here that is uh, in homozygous form. And uh, in our example this 2 loci that we cross out um, uh, in homozygous dominant form but they also can be in homozygous recessive form so it doesn't affect our calculations because we only count uh, this uh, number of the uh, loci present in heterozygous form so this is our calculations and uh, correct answer today here would be answer B eight different uh, uh, combinations of the uh, gametes can be produced by this particular uh, genotype. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments and see you next video. Goodbye.